here I have my urethane longboard wheel mold right here so I've got the shape of the core of the um, motor and this slot here is obviously where the urethane pours into um, down the bottom in there I've got a groove uh, for the cap so then it all fits in flush the uh, mold is a three-part mold so on the top of this I have a cap which has a, a lip here to interlock with the middle section and then this groove here which is also to mimic the cap um, of the motor so that it's a flush fit and then that extra lip um, for the surface of the motor basically slots in like that so we pour the urethane in up to the top um, and then able to place that on there um, to be able to get that shape that we want it's going to be touched up with CNC um, at the end uh, to get rid of the excess urethane but the extra part of the mold looks like this so basically this is just a ring um, with a lip this is for the outside and then to house the um, insert but the reason why it's made into two parts is so then the um, wheel can actually be taken out quite easily uh, if you can imagine trying to take the wheel out of this once it's hard uh, it's going to be quite difficult so uh, basically this slots into the center um, Give it a nice push down, which you can't really do with one hand. And then it's a flush finish there. It's a really tight seal because we don't want urethane leaking out because this would be the bottom. So that's like gravity uh, fed through that crack. Uh, once we pour it, we could also tip it upside down. Um, but yeah, the, the molds are made in aluminium. Um, if you buy some wheels from China, they're going to be made in a plastic cup mold. Um, the mold can't be heated. Uh, it's made out of um, cheap plastic, basically, um, injection molded. So uh, because it's aluminium, you can have um, a heated urethane. It cures a lot uh, better than a plastic um, than a cold pour. Um, companies like these wheels and things like that will use urethane. Um, these aluminium molds. The um, other reason why I do it is because I can have five molds instead of a hundred um, and in a day I could make a hundred wheels from these five molds because curing time is half an hour. If I have um, a cold pour urethane it would take me 24 hours for curing time. Thanks for watching and uh, everyone who's ordered my motors I hope that you really enjoy them.